Thank you, Coach, for joining us again this week. Um, st to start off, uh, another week, another ACC Pitcher of the Week uh, award given to BC. Uh, what can you say about the way your pitching staff is playing these last couple of weeks? Yeah, I think they've uh, absolutely been doing their job and they've been sticking to the game plan and, um, you know, really taking the time to get to know each hitter and, and how to set them up. Um, so, you know, obviously spending a lot of time in the bullpens, but also, you know, kind of looking at some charts and, and numbers um, and really going into the game with a plan. So, um, you know, Jesse Dreswick had player of the week last week and then uh, obviously Allie Fry this week. Um, but I think both weeks, uh, both pitchers threw really, really well. And uh, Jesse Dreswick was, you know, uh, one hit shy of another no hitter this weekend, so she lost that in the bottom of the seventh. Um, so I, again, they're just—I uh, think they're—they're they're peaking at the right time, um, and it's good to have two pitchers that are throwing the ball this well. On the offensive side of the ball, uh, the team has been in rhythm, uh, scoring five or more runs in seven straight games. Um, what is what can you attest to that um, offense um, surge in offense? And is it safe to say that you guys are playing your best softball right now, or is there still room to uh, for improvement? I think we're playing our best, but I think there's obviously you know places where we can improve. Um, but I think they've just come out with a sense of urgency the last uh, the last seven ten games or so, um, and the writing was kind of on the wall going into the uh, NC State series. So um, they're just kind of going out there and swinging at good pitches, and uh, it seems like we're we're not getting any cheap hits, we're not getting any dink hits. They're all solid line drives. So. Um, you know, I think the the 18 hit performance at Syracuse was was one of the most impressive displays I think I've seen in a long time. And, and I told them afterwards, I just I can't think of one of those hits that were not deserving. They were all solid line drives. So um, and up and down the lineup too. So it wasn't just a couple of the kids that stepped up. Uh, what do you hope to see? Uh, you have one more weekend of uh, ACC play um, against Pittsburgh this weekend at home. Uh, what can you? T uh, what do you hope to see from the team um, in going into that final weekend before the ACC tournament? Well, I think it's a big weekend, obviously, for seeding-wise for the tournament. Um, so I think if, if we keep playing like we have the last uh, couple ACC series and even some midweek games, um, then I think we're going to be in a good spot. But, you know, we didn't play Pitt last year. That was one of our teams that we, we had skipped. Um, but we, we know they can hit the ball. They have a, a really good lineup. So, um, But on the flip side, if our pitchers keep throwing the ball the way they do, um, then I think we're going to be okay. And uh, last, lastly, um, with Sunday being the final home game um, for BC, uh, it'll also be senior day. Uh, can you talk about what your seniors mean to, um, have meant to the program and well, what you can say about the seniors and their performance this year, particularly as leaders of the program? Yeah, they really have been leaders since they, they kind of stepped foot on, on campus as freshmen. Um, you know, Jessie Dalton just, she goes day in and day out and really does her job and um, is always working hard. She's one of those kids who you never have to get on to, to kind of push them and to give more. And um, she's always got a smile on her face and always kind of, um, you know, has a good sense of humor out there. And, I, you know, I, I was talking to somebody the other day and I feel like as of right now, it's like every time she's up to bat, she's getting on base. So um, she's kind of on a mission to, to break a few, few records. So um, she's been a joy to coach. Same with Megan Cooley. I know her numbers probably aren't, um, you know, as high this year as they have in the past, um, but she still goes out there and, and she really works hard. And, um, you know, she, she's a couple balls this weekend that some players made some really good plays on, um, and it <laughs> kind of has been that way all year for her. Um, but at no point has she gotten discouraged. Um, she's a leader out there, and, um, you know, she's played center field for four years. Um, and Stephanie Lord's battled some some bad injuries. She actually just had surgery last week. So um, even though she's battled bad injuries, she's still been a great teammate, um, has helped in the dugout with charts and whatnot. So... Um, it's a pretty special class, and um, you know, obviously, they're not players that you can replace, um, no matter how you look at it. I think they've left their mark on the program. Um, so, uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be great to celebrate them on Sunday.